like, subscribe, comment, and let's get to it. What's up, what's up, what's up? Good day, people. Hey, so I wanted to talk about emotional fans. In particular, Anthony Joshua fans. And this will make me really uh, do this content, right? I see that a lot of the people that's like in the UK, right? They're so attached to a person and the idea as opposed to uh, the reality of, of things, right? So, for instance, Anthony Joshua is like, you know, like a public figure out there. He's undefeated. He's like pretty much everything to them, right? To the UK fans. And like he has a lot of, he makes a lot of money. He, you know, he sells out 30, 90,000, uh, you know, seats in, in, um, in Wembley, you know, stadium and stuff like that, right? Which is great. That's great for boxing, right? But then guess what? That's only in the UK. So we're thinking, okay, Anthony Joshua is a great opponent, right, for, uh, for Deontay Wilder. And so we're saying as an American that Deontay Wilder can beat the UK's champion, which is Anthony Joshua, right? And so we're saying that we want to see the fight. And so people in the UK, they're saying, oh, well, Deontay Wilder doesn't sell out stadiums. Deontay Wilder doesn't... Um, have three belts. Deontay Wilder um, hasn't done as much um, as Anthony Joshua, even though he has 40 fights, right? And then us as Americans, right, the ones who are backing Deontay Wilder, right, they're saying, oh, well, he doesn't deserve a fight, right? So last time I checked that Anthony Joshua was going for undisputed. You know what I'm saying? And he went the route opposite of Deontay Wilder. So he got Charles Martin and he got the WBA, which he shouldn't have with the Klitschko because he lost that. He was supposed to fight um, uh, Luis Ortiz for that for that belt. But somehow they allowed the Klitschko fight to be the WBA, right? Um, title. Um, title shot. And so we're looking at it. We're just saying, okay, we want to see them fight. And the UK fans constantly talk about what has Wilder done. He only made 1.2 million or 2.1 million as his highest pay pay rate. He shouldn't ask for 50-50. He shouldn't ask for this, right? Listen. He can ask for whatever he wants to ask for. The problem that you guys have should not be with what Wilder is asking for. It should be, look, let's see the fight. A lot of y'all don't want to see the fight because the emotional attachment that you have and the thought of Anthony Joshua losing, you can't handle it. So that's why you bring up all these other things of what was said outside of seeing the fight. You don't want to see the fight. That's why you bring up the money. That's why you bring up who has he fought. Man, look, man, if we go down to it, right, down Anthony Joshua's uh, list of fighters that he have fought so far, I guarantee you, you will sit there and say that Deontay Wilder would beat every last one of them if you're being honest you would say you would say he was beat every last one of them and then y'all claim the fame is the Klitschko Klitschko was 42 years old and then you downplay Luis Ortiz which is 38 years old that's a four year difference and he's still a great prime fighter which Anthony Joshua did not want to fight him. So what did you say? Oh, well, Luis Ortiz, he should fight. He should fight uh, Deontay Wilder. 
And then look, when Deontay Wilder knocked Luis Ortiz out, what do y'all say? Oh, he's an old man. He's an old man. Right? You cry. He, he, he's an old man. But guess what? He's younger than the Klitschko. And he was supposed to fight for the WBA. And he never got his shot. Why didn't Anthony Joshua fight him? Why are, are, are you fans saying, you know what? He should he should have fought Luis Ortiz. That would have been a great fight, right? Instead, Wilder fought him. But then, what did y'all do? Y'all tried to say Luis Ortiz, oh, he was old, right? He, he's 50 years old. Come on now. You understand he's 50 years old because you trying to put him in an older age bracket than the Klitschko. So you could try to make a point that's not even valid. Right? So the other thing is y'all just don't want to see Anthony Joshua get knocked out. Because y'all know what uh, Deontay Wilder possessed. Because last time I checked we supposed to see the fight in order to determine who is the better champion. Just like Lennox Lewis he fought Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis, he fought Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, he fought the Klitschko, Vitaly Klitschko, he won. He was undisputed. He was the UK's uh, best representative of that country. Right? But guess what? Now, Y'all don't want to see what happened to Kell Brooks. Y'all don't want to see that again, right? That's that's what's really happening. Y'all don't want to see another Kell Brooks situation because y'all know that it's a strong possibility that Anthony Joshua is going to get knocked out by Deontay Wilder, but you too emotionally attach um, to Anthony Joshua that you don't even want to take the chance. You just only want to live with the thought. And so everything that Eddie Hearn have said, even though it contradicts it, contradicts everything that you say, if you go down your timeline, right, it contradicts it. But everything that he have said, you guys have uttered. You guys have restated, you reiterated, right? And you guys actually don't want to fight. You want to live with the ideology that Anthony Joshua is the better fighter, but you don't want to actually see it in reality. And a lot of that comes from, again, the emotional attachment that you have to a fighter. You're not a fan of the sport. You're a fan of a man. That's why we call y'all man fans. A person say that, oh, well, he can beat this person. He can beat this person. And then you go off something that has nothing to do with the uh, with the argument that he's making about boxing. You go into something personal. Oh, man, you just dumb. You, you have nothing. You don't know nothing. You just an idiot. You just a, a, a wild tar. <laughs> What is that? What is that? Like, we talking about boxing, boxing, and then you're basically going off insulting me. Why is that? Because you can't stand the idea of somebody believing that anybody other than Anthony Joshua is the better fighter, but you don't believe that he's the better fighter because you don't even want to see the fight in reality. You know what I'm saying? That's sickening. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have no money. You have no percentage that you're getting from this fight. So why are you worried about what he's going to make, what Deontay Wilder requests are? The only thing that I say if you have any problem with is the location. If you want to see it in UK, like, if you want to go to the actual fight, I understand that. But don't utter it just because Anthony Joshua is uttering it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I got for y'all, man, fans, man. But if you like my content, man, please share my content. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below in the comment section. And make sure that y'all come back, tune in, and grow with me. But that's all I got for now. I'm out.